Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have seen that how we can merge two different branches. In this video, we'll, we will talk about pull request. So what exactly the pull request is? So for example, currently we have two branches and uh, let's say that this master branch is the sensitive branch or is equal to the production. And we don't want any contributor or uh, any developer to push their changes directly into the master branch. As you have seen that in the last couple of videos, I have directly pushed into the master branch. So uh, how we can uh, restrict our users or our developers to directly push our their changes into the master branch. So the pull request, uh, we can also uh, say that the merge request it's basically a feature in uh, the version control system where some developer is ready to begin the process of merging their new code or their changes into the main or the target branch. So how we can restrict the users. So for this, uh, click on this three dots and, and then go to the branch policies. There you you need to, uh, it's actually offline, I just uh, created on, you need to enable this feature, required a minimum number of viewers, uh, let's say one, and these are the uh, features, uh, you are approve their own changes, let me enable it because currently we only have one, and prohibit the most recent pusher and just leave it as it is. And then, uh, let me, go to the uh, if i go to the our branches so in branch one we have seven files and in branch master we have the five files so let me uh go to the local and uh, let me then go to the get check out master let me try to push some you know uh, uh, push some changes into the master branch so let me change some the file 5 save it and try to get add get commit message change in file 5 and then git push so it will not allow me to push the changes because uh, you can see now the pushes to this branch are not permitted. You must use a pull request to update this branch. So how we can uh, create a pull request and uh, merge our changes into this branch. So for this, you must have another branch. Uh, for example, we have uh, what item one branch oh uh, did not match any files what items wrong oh, what are the git branch git work sorry git check out work item slash one now uh, in this branch we have seven files okay and uh, let me create uh, one new more file here. Oops. Uh, file eight, and let me push my changes. Git commit message add new file, and then git push. Okay so let me go there and now here we can if i refresh it you can see the file it is there so you can see that it's also giving me notification that you updated work item one uh, create a pull request so let's create a pull request here give us some title and here you can select that work item one into the master branch okay so let me say uh, changes uh, new file edit new files edit 
and some description blah 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 and that's it uh we will talk about the tags in the future but just say some tags at it and then create so this pull request is created and if we go to the pull request you can see there are the uh pull requests available so how currently we have only one uh user but uh, for example someone created the pull request and we just see that what are the changes so files these files are added and any updates and commits you can see there and now uh for example if, if everything is fine we will see that how we can review the changes in the next video uh but for now for example if everything looks okay then just approve it so uh, let me approve so this is approved and let me complete complete merge and it's done okay so that means the work item one changes are now merged into the master branch so let's verify it to so go to the branches and must that particular branch is deleted now and in the master you can see that all the files that we have are now merged into the master okay so now the previous branch is created because that is uh, merged into this and we will now in the next video uh, we will see that the different feature of the pull request how we can view it what are the meaning of auto complete and what are the uh, how we can reject it how we can add comments and these things okay so that's it for this video uh, please do subscribe and like the video thanks bye bye